And as lawmakers on both sides go back and forth on how to get you relief, families are trying to survive financially. Tonight, hear from Bay Area families holding on for the holidays. If Congress passes a coronavirus relief bill, it would help businesses and families who are struggling right now. Spectrum Bay News 9 reporter Tim Ronka spoke with some local families who are in need of some help for the holidays. Without these toys, some Tampa parents wouldn't have anything to give for Christmas. Yakima Pickering says she was blessed to find a tricycle for her three-year-old daughter. Shoot, and I got a tricycle today, I can tell you that. She and her daughter are one of nearly 50 families taking part in the annual Affordable Christmas event in Tampa. It's put on by the nonprofit group Current Initiatives. The main idea behind this affordable Christmas event is not to give away the toys, but to give parents a chance to actually purchase them. So here's an example of some of the $3 items. Take a look at some of the toys that you can get here for just $3. And it's events like this that are really helping families get through this tough time with the pandemic. But a lot of these families, they would rather say, I, I bought this for my kid. I got to hand this to them knowing and looking at them in the eye, knowing that they were able to provide it for them. And so we just want to create that opportunity for them. Many of the families taking part are struggling to pay bills. Like many Americans, they're hoping for some financial relief during the pandemic. Congress is still in talks this weekend that could lead to more stimulus checks and federal loans for small businesses. As that goes on, parents like Yakima are just trying to give their kids a good Christmas. She's three. I mean, if she was older, she would probably know more like, you know, mommy hasn't been able to buy this thing. But as far as she knows, mommy gets her everything she wants. So this is just going to be added on to that. In Tampa, Tim Ronka, Spectrum Bay News 9.